first foray into politics, and uh, I basically uh, decided to, or, or the, the decision came about after I studied the causes for our financial collapse in 2008, and uh, realized that uh, it had that the way had been paved for that um, event by laws that were passed by Congress that repealed uh, protective legislation that had been in effect since the Great Depression. You're only accepting $250 or less for any right. individuals right. for your campaign? Right. How I'm is not that? accepting corporate or uh, political action committee donations at all. At all? Not even right. $250? Right. And that, how are you finding that's helping your campaign? Is it helping your campaign? Is it a struggle? Uh, it, it, yes, it is a struggle. It is a, it is a struggle. And early on in my campaign, several of the people who advised me said, you know, John, can't you you know, soften that, can't you, why do you need to do that? And my attitude was, I would rather not run or I'd rather run and lose than, than violate that principle because I think that's one of the important things that I need to try to do in this campaign because if I can be elected with that kind of campaign, with that kind of uh, limit, that sends a message around the country. My concerns about campaign finance and realize that a lot of what has occurred has been uh, a result of campaign finance uh, corruption, plain and simple. And, uh, it's done every day. It's uh, seen as a way of life in Washington, but my view is it doesn't have to be that way, and we need to stop it because that's what I think is a problem. One, the reason that students like you all don't get enough um, respect in Washington is because you don't contribute money. You don't, you're not uh, contributing to campaigns in huge amounts of money like many of the, the large organizations through their individual employees um, and the political action committees. Those are the, uh, the sources of money and it's um, something the parties can't fix and won't fix because they can't, they're, they're addicted to it. Sure that student wants and needs are heard, how would you help higher education? Well, I, I start with the proposition that we have to do something about the, the national debt. And that sounds inconsistent with helping students, but we have to restrain spending, but focus the spending that we do put into the economy on investment type spending. And education is investment spending. What I do think is a way to uh, reduce spending is to end the war in Afghanistan. And I'm the only candidate who says anything at all about that. Um, Lois Caps has voted to continue funding it, um, and uh, Tom Watson uh, is with a company that depends upon government contracts. But I'd like to hear from students as to what you think Washington, a representative in the federal government, can do to help out your situation.